our world there's animals all around And you have questions, can you down? Ranger Ray is here to show By talking to those animal pros With the Critter Calm we see the world A new adventure will unfold You'll become an animal champ Here at Ranger Ray's Animal Camp everyone and welcome back to Ranger Ray's Animal Camp. I'm your host Ranger Ray and today we have a towering question on our hands. Why do giraffes have long necks? I've been reaching for an answer all day and I just can't seem to find it. But I think with your help and a certain smart aleck computer I know, we can find the answer. So let's head to the CritterCom. So let's go. Hello there CritterCom. Ah, oh, Ranger Ray, is it time for my favorite part of the day? Ah, us working together is your favorite part of the day? Sarcasm is a foreign language to you, isn't it? <laughs> never a dull moment with you around, CritterCom. Anyways, today we're trying to answer the question, why do giraffes have such long necks? Oh, we're reaching for new heights today, aren't we? You're absolutely right, CritterCom. So, do you think you can call Gary the giraffe for us? Certainly. Hello, Ranger Ray. Hello there, Criticom. Hey there, Gary. Now, we have a question that's kind of a tall order. Why do giraffes have such long necks? Oh, what a splendid question, Ranger Ray. Here, let me show you. The key to our long necks is reaching the best food, Ranger Ray. We use these long necks to reach high up into the trees where other animals can't reach. It's like having an all-you-can-eat buffet in the treetops. And with no other animals there to take that last pudding cup from the buffet, I bet. Well, not entirely. Elephants can reach up with their trunks almost as high as we can reach. But elephants also eat a lot of other kinds of foods closer to the ground, so we still get it mostly to ourselves. So why do you want the leaves at the tops of the trees so much? The leaves up there are often more tender and nutritious than those closer to the ground. Our long necks allow us to graze on the freshest food, and we use our purplish tongues to grab them. Wow, your tongues are so long! And grabby. Yes, our tongues are prehensile. That means they can grab onto things, and we use it to grab onto tasty leaves so we can eat them. Are there any other benefits to having such long necks, Gary? Absolutely! Our long necks also help us spot danger from afar. With our elevated view, we can see predators approaching while we enjoy our leafy snacks. It's like we're a built-in lookout tower. We will even help warn other animals if they're nearby. Giraffes, the natural watchmen of the savannah. Giraffes truly have it all figured out. Long necks for delicious meals and a bird's eye view for safety. We also use our necks for something called necking. When two giraffes are fighting over a mate or over food, they'll swing their necks into each other to show how strong they are. Wow, giraffe necks must be really strong to do that. Yes, they are. And another fun fact about our necks. Uh, do you know how many bones are in a human's neck? Ooh, I know this one. We have seven. Correct. But do you know how many bones a giraffe's neck has? I'm going to guess 45. No, it's actually seven as well. Only each one of our neck bones is way longer than a human's. Wow, Gary, this has been great. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. See you later, Ranger Ray. Keep reaching for knowledge. So, giraffes have long necks to reach food at the tops of the trees, to keep an eye out for danger, and to show other giraffes how strong they are. I didn't realize how valuable necks could be. It's times like this, I wish I actually had one. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure today. Remember, stay wonderful and wild, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Ta-ta!